All right, Mary. So in this segment, um, we'll do the uh, stories from the uh, the Sunrail stories. Yes, yeah, sto- stories oh, from man. the Sunrail. Right? Is that what we're oh, calling man. it? Oh man, I mean, we can. Okay. It's I'm right. embarrassed this time though. Uh oh. <laughs> fine. All right, coming back in three, two, one. Welcome back to the No New Friends podcast with Scott, Mary, and Chris. We're joined by a special guest from Big Beautiful Disney, Dane. And uh, as always, Jared is watching because he's a Patreon and that's what Patreon members get to do is they get to watch us record and comment and interact with us. And they're a lot cooler than you. And uh, you can join whoa, our pa- whoa, the, the, the Patreons whoa. are the Patreons are cooler. Patrons are cooler than me. So yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, that's www.patreon.com slash no new friends podcast. And for the low price of just three dollars a month, you can join our uh, Discord channel and you can interact with uh, myself and Chris and some of our other Patreon members. Not Mary because she has, ignores my text messages when I send her oh. the uh, information about that. But I that's mean, okay. We'll ignore is a strong word. Have you responded um, to it? sometimes all right no no not all my no you're good about responding to my text just this particular one where i'm inviting you to our discord channel anyway we'll work on that do i have scott i have the social life of a house plant (laughs) i don't do i i do nothing outside of work and i I come here and i do this yeah i mean honestly a house plant i can't even keep alive at this point i mean that (laughs) that's kind of me right now with the wonder script i haven't seen anybody outside the house in like a month (laughs) I wish I didn't see anybody outside the house sometimes. Well, you that's just who I am. You get um, <laughs> and, and you're you're already a happy person, and you don't need the the decompose not decompose decompress time that a lot of adults do. But you get you have been given this glorious opportunity oh, to ride the, the sunrail, and uh, it, it's a it is a gift. And also a curse. It's a blessing and a curse. So you With did write it responsibility today. Responsibility comes. Yeah. <laughs> so you did great write power it today. Comes great responsibility. Right, oh. despite the uh, tropical storm, uh, which was nothing. I mean, uh, we would have more impact from a toddler trying to blow out a candle than we did from this mm-hmm. storm. I had a whole segment. Remind planned. me to circle back on that. Uh, only, okay. It's only. Kidding. It's only. Hey, it's only proof that Disney hates Epcot because you know they had to cancel Epcot forever for like a week because of it. So yeah, I heard that, and the annual pass holders are are pitching a fit about it. Annual um, pass holders are getting dicked over for the last year. So well, that's you're not wrong. That's you're the not least wrong thing there. that they need to be worrying about. You're not wrong. All right. So Mary's got some stories from the um sunrail. Okay. Sunrail. Yeah. Stories from the sunrail. Is that what okay, we're calling? What it? the heck is what is this? What's the sun? Okay, is so Jane, let me take you down a beautiful path. So I my job recently kind of transitioned from being very close by to being in mm-hmm. downtown Orlando. And I live in Lake Mary, which is like the suburbs outside of Orlando. Orlando is 30 minutes away from Orlando already. Mm-hmm. So but if I were to drive into downtown Orlando from Lake Mary, it's a shit show. So there's tons of traffic on I-4. It's just garbage. And then also there's parking. So trying to find parking downtown Orlando is a nightmare. So I've been taking the SunRail, which is the train that goes from um, basically, I think, DeBerry or Del- Deltona all the way to, uh, I don't know, somewhere else. It, it goes where this I needed to go. This isn't a bullet train, is it? No, it's, it's, not, it's not. I wish okay. it were. Because I was going to say, is this the one that's going to Springs? But okay. It, it, no, it's, it's I mean. I thought it was. It's a subway that is just above ground. It's public transportation uh, in the form of a train. Okay. Yes. Simple so, enough. um picture it sicily 1923 don't sing it it no it's not even the same reference i don't know why you do it okay i wish that i could say that today's sunrail story was (laughs) from the like the scum of orlando but it's me i am the scum of orlando (laughs) i am the story today so somewhere Um, someone somewhere else is on a podcast doing um, about me sunrail stories talking about you you say that jokingly, but I'm almost positive they are because of what happened. <laughs> um, okay, so it. you prefaced with saying that it was very stormy um, and well, it, it was very really. blustery. It was blustery. Admit it. It was no. very windy. It was no. also soggy. It was very windy. It was very soggy. It was not um, No, it was windy as shit. Okay, it's look, and does. my hair begs to differ and that's part of the story. Okay, so but- I... You know, I, I knew 
not to flat iron my hair today because I knew it was not going to end well. Yeah, this is a ponytail or a hat day. I have naturally very curly hair. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to let her loose and just be curly and then I'll pull it back. It's going to be fine. It was not fine, friends. It was not fine. (laughs) Um, For some reason, the where the train takes off that little area it's it became a tunnel of wind uh, and my hair grew exponentially in the first five minutes that I was just trying to get on to the train this morning I sat down in my seat and have you ever caught a glimpse of your effect reflection in a, a window and you were startled by what happened and what all you've the seen time, all the time. And it's not for me. It's not just a glimpse. You know, I just, it, I, I look at myself and I want to, I couldn't believe what I saw. So you were like my, the girl from the, uh, Charlie and the chocolate factory. You, it, uh, my, yes. My hair was the blueberry. Um, I would reference I a, was, a two episodes of friends where Monica's hair, they go to Barbados and her hair gets all frizzy, but it sounds like, like the least funniest thing I've ever heard. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it sounds really ridiculous. Um, sounds like Remy's jokes. Basically <laughs> I um, was hoping that no women or children got on the train because they would be engulfed immediately and gone forever, um, but never <laughs> forgotten. Uh, so I immediately, of course, send my sister a text with a selfie that says, because that's what I felt like. <laughs> How do you spell that? Thing. Um, I'll have to spell it. out. I did spell it out like I phonetically like to, yes, to her, we could but like with the that. like emphasis on different, you know, syllables anyways. What? So the emphasis on a syllable, like there's a lot to unpack here, like a syllable. Yeah. You put syllable. the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Oh, that's how you spell it. Emphasis it's, it's, on this syllable. It's N A N T S space I N G O N Y A M A space B A G I T H I space B A B A. That's how you spell the spelling bee. That's just... how you spell Nas <laughs> Egonia. <laughs> By the feet, we have to, now we have to compare. We're gonna have to oh, compare how yes, Mary's we do have to compare it. Okay, well, how I said it was not the same. How I said it was how my hair looked. Yeah, okay, no, just she, not right. She probably spelled rough. it like N Y A S A V A N Y A. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Mary no. just offended half of the savannah animals. In- Look, She's it's- never gonna be allowed in Animal Kingdom Lodge. Again. <laughs> I'm not hoping to go because I'm still just ashamed. I have to hide right now. Okay, so look, this is what else happened though. So uh, I already look ridiculous. More. I look ridiculous. And um, I know it's, it's mortifying for you because if like, if you have an eyelash, eyelash out of place, you lose your no, mind. I don't think that that's necessarily true. I'm really? pretty, I'm, no, I'm not that vain. If you have a I wouldn't go that behind far. your ear, you lose your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I don't even know how to do my own makeup. You act like I am some prim and proper whatever. I am not. I, I didn't wear... say that. I just, if one thing is out of place, you lose your mind. And everything's out of place all the time. It just, that's how things are now. It's my very, life, very Scott. Ha- glass half full of you there. <sighs> Anyways, so I'm on the train and I'm like, oh my God, I have to pee very badly. And also I look like a hot pile of shit. Did you go, did you, uh, did you look for a place to buy? There's a train primary? bathroom. There's a train bathroom. Yeah. These are nice trains, Chris. They have train so, other bathrooms. But look, well, here's the, the, the thing. Is nice I, so Florida you. can't be true. Listen, <laughs> I needed a social cue though, that there was a, a bathroom available and that it was okay to use. So there was another woman that used the bathroom and they came out and I was like, all right, I see you three minutes later, my turn. I'm up. I'm going to do it. And so, but you can't leave your things unattended, right? You have to bring all of your things into the bathroom with you because one, someone might steal it, but two, weird. I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, ever since September 11th, you can't just leave things. Right. They think that I'm trying to blow things up. So you look the type. I do, especially with my hair the way I, it was. You never know. You don't know what I'm packing in there. Just one bad day away. I am, and I, yeah. today could have been it, man. Why, why <laughs> kid in the corner? Oh, so I take my, so I have this hunter backpack, <laughs> and it's like waterproof. I wipe it down after I get off the train with a Clorox wipe because I'm a sociopath. Um, but I get, I'm susceptible to stomach bugs, and I don't want one, so like I don't want to do it. Anyways, I go into the bathroom with my backpack. I'm wearing a high-ish waisted zip up like side pant capri things. I don't even know what to call them. So I, you know, sit down, use the restroom, pull my pants up, wash my hair, look in the mirror, immediately regret that. 
wash my hands. Sorry. Uh, wash my hands. <laughs> Sorry. I jumped ahead of myself. Wash my hands. Look in the mirror. Immediately regret that decision because my hair is a mess. <laughs> so I try to like do something with myself. Yeah. And then I go to exit the bathroom and there's an attendant right outside the bathroom. Oh. And he's like, ma'am, hey, you didn't lock the door. <laughs> um, so apparently like, I didn't lock there. the door, but he saw that I had, I had gone in there and homie did me a solid and wow. was like, no, Aww. don't enter because there's a lady in here because he assumed I was a lady, which was really nice of him. And he showed me how to lock it next time because he assumed <laughs> there would be a next time. Now I'm mortified and I will never use the Sunreal um, bathroom again. So he's, he's going to like knock on the door. Good job. I know. I'm proud of me. <laughs> I heard it lock. Could be some um, corgi. Like on the announcements, ladies and <laughs> bathroom, good job. Everybody claps. It's so, Mary, like, Mary, and now you have bathrooms, gonna... you have to walk there. You just kind of go on yourself on ours. Oh, you yeah, just sit yeah, there yeah, and you, you just, just go. go. You just go. You're, you're forever going to be known as the lady who goes. To no, the it gets worse. You're going to like open Guys, up it gets worse. <laughs> I wish more? I'm so embarrassed and I I can't believe I'm sharing I this. I thought this so, was like the we're proud of you, Mary. You did it. I, I no, it's well, like the, the character now it's time arc. to laugh yeah, at me I thought for this being going to be a happy story. This is time for you to laugh at me for being such an idiot. So. I am wearing those high-waisted pants I referenced, a um, like a sleeveless shirt, a little form-fitting, but not really, and a long flowing cardigan. I guess when I pulled my pants up, I also secured the straps to my back <laughs> within my pants. <laughs> Please tell me you so- walked out in public like that so it was just the back part but the, the straps that hang down were in my face <laughs> and there's no way I'm hiding this <laughs> because I was wearing a long flowing cardigan so it like it, it <laughs> oh my and I walked god down like rows of people to get back to my seat because I'm a good human um and I was uncomfortable for a second and I was like, what is going on? And I went to go move my backpack to grab something. And I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> and it wasn't just in my pants. It was in my, un- like it was oh, tucked so in there. Like, it was like- <laughs> oh, <laughs> it wasn't God. going anywhere. These hurricane force winds didn't stand oh, a chance. <laughs> like, never be too careful. <laughs> um, so that's your Sunrail stories. <laughs> I am the scum of Orlando. Wow. Uh, Did anyone try to live. donate money to you? Like yeah. you a dollar. I don't I think that they, they didn't even check my past to see if I was allowed to be on there like, yeah they're like you she know can't, what yeah she's Let's a stowaway she can't be really from like Mary Let's give her a Mary you have evolved into a mountain person I'll I, this on my way. I am I'll well talk, on my way evolved into a true Floridian look my day didn't start I didn't start out on that path I don't know what happened but then the rest of the day I just embraced it which was really kind of liberating like I didn't care what I looked like <laughs> The rest of the day, I was rocking like my Harry Potter hoodie. If you were to look into my office, I was in my chair with a a blanket, my hoodie, and I like turn around and like just hiss at people. Chris, that meme that goes around where it's it's like someone in a parka and like 18 layers. Yes. And and they're like, you all know that person in the office who they could be dressed like this and still be cold. That's 100% that is Mary. It's me. Yeah, I get, so my office space has a coffee bar and they have like all these different coffees all day long. I just refill my cup just to stay warm. Like it's not because (laughs) I want coffee. I just need something warm to keep in my hands and my mitts because I'm cold. Oh, that's too funny. All right. You're listening to the No New Friends podcast. We'll be right back. Mary, that was really funny. Guys, I'm still embarrassed. This is, this I really did sit my my backpack straps right in my fucking I, pants. Right, we don't, uh, don't need Carline Chronicles anymore. We've got. Uh, you know, I'm proud of you for rehashing that. I have right? a I have a it's kind of I have a funny kind of train story. It's it's kind of it's kind of it's not as funny as Mary's, but it's 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 <laughs> I don't it's, it's like <laughs> it's it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Is it the SEPTA train? No, no, no. It's um. Guys, ever hear of Day Out with Thomas? You know, yes. Thomas the Train. Yeah. So like, I always yeah, the, wanted to the take big, my kids on there, but I don't train. love them enough. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> like the big train comes to town, and you yeah. need to take rides on it. Yeah. So, so um, 
I was uh I was up late one night and I was like I wonder how much day out with Thomas tickets are going before because our local our, our railroad near here has them so I was like you know Thomas Strasburg? exactly yeah so um Tom I was like Thomas is owned partially by the Henson company which is Disney so I was like take go there take some video so I was like let's see how much tickets are so they're twenty seven dollars um for one ride it's a 45 minute ride but that's not the weird part of this story the weird part of this story is that I thought of this at 1 a.m when I was right about to go to bed and um here I am up until like three or four in the morning trying to score Thomas tickets. Thomas Railroad <laughs> tickets. Like 17 years old. That's great. To go by myself. Hey, anything That's for content. Funny. Yeah, exactly. Uh, ask Scott. Yeah. Scott makes I know. That say that. Dane, you and I speak the same language. Here, are we recording right now? The next. Do you, need, do you need two minutes? 90 seconds. I yeah, just have go ahead. To yeah, I'm going to fill But I'm not going to put my straps in my pants. But think <laughs> about what we're going to talk about. What did I do today? I got a watermelon uh, smoothie today. It's pretty damn good. What's, what's cooking, Chris? What's going on, Jared? How was your day? Yeah, it was a good day. Is that Disney okay. Sea in the background there? Uh, it's Negative. Universal Island to That's place. Universal. Uh, I hope that was sure. Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, I keep getting Velocicoaster uh, commercials on my TV. I'm like, we get it, Universal. You opened up one good ride in the last 10 years. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, what do you see? What do you think is Big Thunder way in the background? That's actually Mythos. Uh, oh, 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 the best, the best uh, restaurant in all theme parks, right? Of the course. Best theme park restaurant. Absolutely. I'm trying to think if I bought anything exotic, Scott. Um, What's that? Try it for our next segment. Yeah, because it, the, what I have written down is uh, adulting in a hurricane. Uh, but adulting in a hurricane. Uh, you mean like take this heat from Pennsylvania back to Florida because it's horrible? <laughs> yeah, right. You see my fan back here. I hate it. <laughs> I'm not used to this. So, yeah, right. we were going to talk about adulting in a hurricane because Irma was the first hurricane that Mary really had to ad adult in. That's true. But I was hoping for a little bit of a stronger storm today, and it did right. nothing. So I'm not Are even... You... I was wind whipped all day today. But because you weigh, like, 10 pounds. No, my... It was rough, man. I'm telling you, I didn't put my umbrella out on purpose because that would have been tragic for me. Here I definitely... Go. The only wind that I heard oh. or saw was at five o'clock this morning and then at 6 p.m. tonight. That was it. It was it was rough for me start to finish, man. Can you turn it, down your uh, phone brightness? There you go. So this is the only weird thing I bought recently. But it's not cool. to talk about. Oh, I, oh these, I, I bought something. Hold on. I, I, I found these weird. Jewish, these, these, this rabbi. Has these oh, I love that. And they sell for a lot of money. I found them at the thrift shop. Uncle, oh, that's Uncle, hilarious. Uncle, Mo Uncle Moishi. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Do, do, so do you have any... Um, let me see if I saw anything weird. The, the, uh, uh, just, just for personal, just for conversation. When I was the day that I met Noam Chomsky, I sold a Noam Chia pet, which was really awesome. weird. Yeah, I love Chia pets. Mary, you got any ideas? I uh, have. We can talk about stuff that we uh, weirdly bought because I have a couple stuff that I. Like. I don't have things that I've weirdly bought. I have things that I weirdly own. Chris, do you have stuff that you bought that's weird? everything everything yeah that's what that's what chris he, does that's what chris does for a living um we can hey. talk about how uh this morning it was rainy and i didn't i wanted to be like it's really stormy i can't make it in hey chris do you have uh i have a, a, I have a request for your zoom background what's that can, can you do the one where it's uh it's you giving a mug to yourself and uh yeah he's done that it. yeah he he did that that's my favorite the one the files it. corrupted and you're wearing no. that shirt you're wearing yeah. that shirt too i love i love that I one am. so much no yeah, the file the, the and the videos here i don't it's, know what happens but that's when I, so sad 